Today I want to talk about corn leafing out underground. We've got multiple reasons why that happens. Probably one of the more common ones is uh, planting in cold soils and we get seed chilling and cause that seed to circle, the spike to circle the seed and corkscrew in the ground. Probably the one more common is when we get a crust after planting and the seed spike pushes up against that crust and it just can't make it out and it'll blow out the side. You'll see a lot of swelling in the uh, mesocotyl when that takes place. And we also have herbicide damage and that'd be your dual lasso type chemistry uh, will cause the spike to rupture. Now when that happens you won't see a lot of swelling. It'll just open up and that can happen in a number of ways but in a dry year like this year one of the things that we run into if the depth wheels aren't tight against the disc opener that allows surface soil where the herbicide is to pour into the furrow before we close it and then we close it from the bottom up and that spike has to come up through that herbicide zone and you'll see more leafing out and it might not even be a crust, doesn't help the hoe because it's leafing out before it gets there. In this particular field here today we have an air pocket above the seed based on how the planter was set and the conditions we're planting into to cause this type of leafing out underground in a situation where right off of the seed we can tell that the spike went in the wrong direction so situation a lot of looping around here trying to find its way up and that's your that type of damage is an indication of an air pocket above the seed let's look in the furrow to see what causes this this particular field we're planting in 70 degree soils no seed chilling no acid anilines used to cause it breaking out underground but we have a lot of corn leafing out underground we look down in here, we can see an air pocket right at the bottom of the, of the furrow. That's where the seed firmer tucked the seed in and it germinated. But when you got this air pocket in there, you're going to cause this rolling around as far as a spike trying to find a spot up. And you're going to get a, a, a lot of corn caught. Now, the cause of this is we did a good job of closing the furrow. There is no open slot like you would typically would see in no-till. But we only closed the top of the slot. We didn't get the bottom closed. And that comes back to how wide these cast iron closing wheels were behind the planter. They're in that inch and three quarter, and they should be out there at two and a half. So if we grab further out here, we would get this closed. We closed good here, but the air pocket above the seed is causing the problem. This would have been visible day of planting if we're doing our cross section and making sure that we got good seed to soil contact.